Hello, I'm Rex Pasterfield, and I'd like to welcome you to a video about my Qualcomm Extortion, which stands for Exponent Distortion. What I've called Exponent Distortion, I haven't found any mention of in the literature about uh, saturation distortion and fuzz effects. That doesn't mean it hasn't been done, because... It might not be any good, but I'll let you judge that for yourself. So now I'll explain what we've got on the screen here. We've got my extortion plugin, and that feeds into a Reaper Convolution Amp Camp Modeler, and the Reaper JS Distortion Fuzz, which I can use for comparison purposes later, and the Reaper Reverb. Um, to provide a little bit of reverberation and uh, my guess is that you'll use some sort of a similar setup uh, when you test fuzz plugins. So for those of you not familiar with what an exponent is or exponentiation, it's when one number is raised to the power of another number. So, for instance, if we turn the exponent up to 2, that is equivalent to squaring. And if we turn it down to 0 0.5, that's the equivalent of finding the square root. Now, an audio waveform goes negative as well as positive. And if you supply an exponent to a negative number, you get a positive number. So, internally... The positive going and negative going parts of the sound are processed separately and then joined together so that the result is symmetrical. So as you've seen, the exponent knob allows you to adjust an exponent from point 0.1 up to 2. The harmonics knob provides an imbalance, an asymmetry to the result. So when turned high, you get more even harmonics in the distortion, which can sound different and possibly more pleasant. Now the important part is what is the difference in the sound between a conventional Forza Overdrive effect and the extortion effect. Well, apart from there being a little bit of a difference in the tone, which you'll hear in a bit, the exponent system keeps the same set level of distortion almost down to zero signal level so as the signal dies away the distortion is maintained pretty much fixed that means you could should you want to play it at different volume levels and maintain the same type of distortion throughout so you can add volume expression to your playing so to demo what I've just been saying, um, I'll drag this very basic synthesizer in and let you hear the decay um, fully dry. And now I'll turn it up fully wet so that you can hear how the distortion is maintained as the sound dies away. So now I'll do the same again, but with the extortion turned off and the more conventional fuzz plugin turned on. And if you listen to the way the tone changes during the dying tail, hopefully you'll hear what I'm talking about. And mine again. So that's the difference, apart from a small difference in the actual tone, 
it's the way that the distortion is held at pretty much all volumes. So, you don't need a drive control. So, in addition to the core distortion processor, I've got pre-distortion EQ and post-distortion EQ, which are shelving filters where you can set the amount of boost or cut, and you can actually set the center frequencies. So you've got a reasonably versatile um, EQ system there. You can turn it on there and turn it off if you wish to use your own external processing. So in a moment, I'll... Uh, demonstrate that on uh, some guitar playing and I have to thank Don McSweeney and Victor B. Tulsakpont, if I pronounce his name right, uh, for some DR guitar sounds for the purpose of demonstrating the extortion. So what I'll do is I'll set the clip playing and fiddle about with the knobs and you can hear some possibilities.
not being a, a guitarist myself, I don't know if that's going to be of any interest to you, but it is a little bit different from the uh, more conventional distortion fuzz effect. And at this point, I'd like to give a big shout out to Martin Vikenek, who designed a very sophisticated exponentiator and written an assembly language and optimized. So a lot of what I do wouldn't be possible without his um, help and input. So that's the Quilkenham extortion and uh, maybe give it a try, see what you think. And until the next time, bye.